Hi, everybody. Um, I'm Mr. Williams. Uh, obviously, I'm going to be your history teacher, whether it's world history in blocks one or uh, U.S. history two in block two and three. Uh, I'm going to be sending you guys this link just to kind of let you know how it's going to look um, when it comes to uh, this year. Uh, first off, I can't wait to start teaching uh, with you guys. It's been really weird um, just having to be remote and everything like that, but uh, I'm going to be in the building right now. Obviously, I'm not in the building. I'm on my couch. I don't know if you can tell or not. Uh, if you do hear a baby crying in the background, I apologize, but my little man over here is uh, just getting done eating and he's getting a little fussy. So, um, but I want to show you guys how to do things and uh, get where you need to be. Um, we're going to do two different things as, uh, as a history class. We're going to use Microsoft Teams because everybody in the school is using Microsoft Teams. And then we are going to go to Google Classroom, which I'm better with. Um, and I feel more often than not, most of the time, you guys are better with it too as students. Uh, if there's any parents, obviously, who get this video, because you're also getting this video as well, uh, just want to let you know, again, I'm Rob Williams. I've been working at Cumberland Regional for the past two years. Uh, prior to this, I worked in Millville for about eight years. Uh, so I'm about 10 years into actual teaching. And remote-wise, it's usually actually pretty easy, uh, as in I'm, I'm very tech-savvy and good at it. Um, but at the same time, I know a lot of people are um, – having issues. So I'm going to try my best to make things as easy as possible. Just know no matter what, you can always email me, you could always message me, whatever you need, and I will show you how to do that um, as we go on. But let's first off, let's let's get to the to the easy stuff. So as you can see here, I have what I call my my teams. Okay, this is my, my Microsoft Teams. I'm in a couple different ones. Uh, I'm just going to use one of the ones that I've created for you guys as an example. So this is my block one class. So here's my world, uh, Williams World History. As you can see, it says Williams U.S. History and then Williams U.S. History for the other one. It always starts with Williams. Uh, that way you know I'm looking for Mr. Williams class. Boom, you can find it. These invites to these classes have been in, uh, been sent to you guys via email. Um, I can't send them again, so you, you're going to have to look for them yourself. Uh, if you go onto your Chromebook, there's an icon at the bottom, and it's this little icon here. I don't know if you can see it or not. Uh, it has a little T on there with like people behind it. It's purple. Um, so when you click on Teams, uh, it will bring this screen up. If for some reason it minimizes and you click on it again, down here again, boom, it pops back up for you. So Teams is on every Chromebook um, that you guys have. At least that's what we've been told. Um, and I know a lot of people who are in the uh, junior class or senior classes, uh, you've done Teams before. But anyway, so let's just say, for instance, I click on one of my teams, all right? The invite's been sent out to you guys, so you guys should have this. Um, what I'm going to ask is this, and a couple of you have accepted, which is great. The only thing we're really going to do in Teams is two things, actually, and one of them is not even a Teams thing. So the one thing we're going to do in Teams every day, let's say your class starts at 8.30, um, 8.30 to 9.30, which is for is a block one, uh, you are going to go to your Teams, uh, and you're going to click on the meet button. Okay. Uh, once you click on the meet button, it should be there. You might even be getting an email saying that there's a scheduled meet every single day at 8:30. Um, so I'll be talking to you pretty much from 8:30 until probably like 8:45. Um, and then after that, it's completely open to you to like ask questions on whatever we're working on um, or whatever lesson it is. If you're having any issues logging in or anything like that, I can help you. All right. But in all reality, all you're going to do is just click on the meet. All right. When you click on the meet button or if you click on the link that's sent to you guys, um, it'll probably ask you to join now or anything like that. Um, and I'll have to accept it, obviously. And then you're in uh, every day. We will meet with Google. Uh, sorry, with Microsoft Teams meet. I'll just call it Teams meet. All right. We'll meet with Teams meet. And uh, it's really easy. It's it's quite easy. Uh, I am recording every one of the conversations, so just know that that is a, that is a thing that's going to happen, um, but it's going to be on there. Um, we'll talk about etiquette. We'll talk about the things that I kind of want from you guys to, to be able to do, um, but it's mainly yours. It's your time. Uh, if you don't catch our meet, just know that I'm, I'm going to mark you as late, um, and that means that you literally were late 15, maybe even 20 minutes if you're still checking in, but yeah, you get it. You get the idea. So we're going to do that every day. We're going to meet probably 10 to 15 minutes tops. Uh, every once in a while, it'll be more of a discussion kind of thing. I might even say the day before, like, hey, listen, just know tomorrow's meet's going to be a little longer. 
but you get the idea. It's all on there. Um, dress appropriately. Do not be that person who's like in their PJs. I don't want you eating. Um, you should have had breakfast by now. It's eight 30. Um, I can, ima- I can understand finishing breakfast, but you're not having a whole, you know, buffet of, uh, pop tarts while we're, we're doing this. Okay. So just know that that's, what's going to happen. Okay. We're, we are talking. It is like class. Um, after we do that, most of the time, I'm going to tell you to go to the Google classroom page. When you click on the Google classroom homepage, it's going to actually pop up on here. All of you have been sent an invite to Google classroom. So it should work. Um, so obviously when you go into here, you're going to have certain assignments or anything like that that are in your Google classroom. Um, and you should be fine there. If for some reason, I don't think this is like showing you everything. I might tell you to get out of teams and then just go to Google classroom on the website. Okay. Right now I've only added one thing in there so far, and that's just your remote learning inf- uh, information and syllabus. Uh, we'll check that out tomorrow together. Um, and, uh, we'll talk about the syllabus. We'll talk about the remote learning expectations. Um, but it's really, really quite easy. Um, this is for my world history class. Obviously I've got one for every class and U S history too, and all that too, as well. Um, so again, you're only doing two things when we go to meets. Okay. Or when we go to teams, the one thing is going to be a meet. All right. So it's going to be in the general. Sorry. I'll just go right. Yeah. Sorry. Go back. All right. So let's say it's in my U S two class now. All right. Remember the meet is at the top. All you gotta do is just click on the button. It's there. I believe you're getting an email again. I don't know. Um, this is my first time doing teams. We in, in the school have to do teams. You should be getting an email saying you have a scheduled meeting from eight 30 to whatever it's sent out to everybody, uh, in the class. So there's that. So once you click on this or accept that invite to the, the meeting, uh, we'll talk, we'll have our thing for about 10, 15 minutes. And then after that, we'll go right to the Google classroom homepage. I'll probably ask you to do so while we're even in the thing. Um, and then once we go there, here's the U S two class. All right. As you can see, a little bit different of a background uh, there. This is your site isn't loaded correctly. Click here. Go to the site. So, again, even if you have some issues, it's there's pretty easy uh, explanations for things. Uh, that won't be there tomorrow. Just know. I don't know why it's there right now. I'll, I'll have to get rid of it. Delete. Yes. Okay. And um, but it's you know again pretty easy stuff. You've got your class information and syllabus in here. Uh, we'll look at the classwork thing together because it's all going to be labeled for you guys. Um, but yeah, if you don't know me by now, or if you haven't had me in the past, you'll know that I'm a pretty organized guy. Um, I want to help you. Um, if for any reason whatsoever, you do have an issue, like you're not logged in, uh, with the, the Google classroom, sorry, the Google icon, just know it's pretty easy. You just go right to Google. All right. Google.com. All right. There's a little waffle iron here. That's where your apps are going to be for Google classroom and such. Um, but you shouldn't really have to do that. But if for some reason your Google account here is not your school account, that's when we'll just go ahead and change it. Okay. You always want to be under your school account. So it's going to be, let's uh, make up a kid's name. Uh, let's say we have, a um, uh, Benny Johnson. All right. So it'll be, you know, 23 Johnson B and then at crhsd.org. Okay. Um, and that's as easy as it can be. Okay. It's very simple. Um, you just want to make sure that you're logged in with your school ID into Google as well. I do a lot of things with Google. The reason why is because you can do it anywhere. All right. So just, um, I think you'll like it. I think you'll like what I'm doing here. Be patient the first two days. Um, I want to get, make sure everybody's doing the right thing at the right time. I'm not going to flood you with work at first. I'm just want to make sure you're all signed in with everything. And then once I feel like we're good, I'm moving on. Okay. So for Wednesday and Thursday, it's going to be a little slower. And then once Friday comes around and then goes into the weekend, I'm going to, that's it. I'm just going to give you, we're going to get right into teaching. Uh, I'm not going to slow down. Uh, I'm going to get right into what we normally do. We only have hour long classes now. Okay. Um, if you want, when we do our first meet, I will show you the schedule and what it looks like. You can snapshot it or whatever you need to do. Um, but it's a pretty easy process there. Um, and that's about it. So again, let's do a quick synopsis. Let's do a quick recap. All right. No matter what, you're going to go to your teams. You're go- you're going to have an invite for your team in your email. So just go to your email, click on the invite. If you can't find it, let me know. And then I, you know, again, look up my name, just look up Williams and it should pop up in there. Um, once you're in your class, let's say you're in my U S history two block two class. You're going to go to the meet or you're just going to click on the meet link that gets sent to you guys 
for that time period to actually meet. We are scheduled for an hour every single day. I'd appreciate if you can be with me. You don't have to stay with me for the whole hour. You just have to stay with me for as long as we're talking about what we need to talk about. And I need to stay on for the hour. So you're going to then do what you need to do uh, activity wise or assignment wise. So you can get the grades you deserve. Okay. After we do the meet, we go to Google classroom homepage. Once we go to Google classroom homepage, we can go ahead and complete whatever the assignment is. Again, I do not want that assignment there. So I'm going to delete it. And there you go. It's all on here, guys. It's very easy. I tried to make it so they were linked um, because it makes things easier for you. All right. And anytime you do on the Google Classroom page, just go right to classwork. It's easier that way. Everything is labeled for you. I put to I put topics on there. Um, and so you're going to start seeing, seeing things with due dates. Okay. Remote learning is definitely going to be stricter this time than it was in um, April, May, and June. Okay. It's not going to be as like, uh, get this done when you can kind of thing. It's going to be, you need to sign in, you need to check in, you need to do your stuff. Okay. Um, tomorrow and tomorrow's me, I will talk to you about the things that we're going to do. Okay. Um, tomorrow I'm going to be posting something on Google Classroom that's going to be like an agenda for the day. And that agenda for the day, you'll go ahead and you'll just click on hyperlinks and you'll do certain things. Uh, it's very easy. I'm making this as easy as possible. I'm spending a lot of time organizing so that way you guys can get done what you need to get done. Okay. Um, that's about it. If you have any questions, let me know. Um, no matter what, if they ever ask you to sign in in Google or to sign in for anything that is for my class, sign in with Google. Okay. And then use your actual school ID. Okay. It's easier that way. Uh, it should give you options right there on the programs that I'm sending you. Okay. Um, that's about it. Again, I keep talking, but it's, uh, it's very important. Okay. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. I'm going to send you guys the link to this video in an email. So if you want to reply in the email, you're more than welcome to. I'm also going to leave some instructions on there that I've gotten from the IT people, just in case you do have a password or um, any other issues. Okay. All right, guys, I look forward to talking to you tomorrow face-to-face, uh, -to -face, and uh, good luck. Good luck with the school year.